Um, what are you, stupid? How could we afford to lose someone that valuable after 13 years? Huh? You should aim to become the leader of the corpse or something. I'll take over Aaron's Titan. What, uh, what do you say, Aaron? That's good, right? Connie? Better me than Jean, right? That isn't a good idea because you're an idiot. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, no, I mean, uh, how could we let an idiot be responsible for something so important? What? Uh, that boy really gets my goat. I will inherit it. I'm about the only reliable one with combat experience. In fact, it has to be me uh, by process of elimination. Guys, I don't wanna though. <laughs> you know I don't wanna. No, that doesn't make any sense. What? Well, we can't give it to an idiot. <laughs> you said that yourself, right? Um, you're an even bigger idiot than me, <laughs> so that contradict what you just said. Do you not understand that? What? What? <laughs> Their back and forth is the best, man. And god damn it, like how dare Isayama give us like even more even more Connie and Sasha material. Um it's it's just rude at this point, man. It's not funny anymore, honestly. Um I'm not planning on handing uh it down to any of you. Why not? Because you're important to me more than anyone. So I want you to live long lives. It's nice. It's nice seeing him say this, though. Um, God, man, it's like it's it's like what what happened? You know what I mean? Because you would assume that I I had always been thinking, you know, the change that we see in Aaron in in the present day um, is is maybe because of just all the different memories that are battling inside of his mind, right? And this is before he even obtains the Warhammer Titan, right? So it's not like as soon as he got the Warhammer Titan, that's when, you know, he started acting totally different. Like, no, this this happened, um, this change happened before he obtained, you know, another Titan, right? Um, so I don't know, maybe, maybe the memories, um, you know, they started off, you know, like, chill in the beginning but then they got they i don't know maybe started ramping up and got more intense uh you know as time progressed all the memories are just battling inside his mind with kruger and and, and fritz and and everything um but yeah I, I don't know um it's just kind of sad seeing you know uh aaron at this moment you know um you know telling his friends you know his the people that he's been with since the beginning, right? Since the beginning, you know, that, you know, I, I care about you guys, right? And I don't want you guys to have this burden. I don't want you guys to to have your lifespan shortened, uh, you know, by this burden. Um, to that, to seeing him, as you guys told me, laughing over over Sasha's death, you know? It's, it's, it's so strange. It's so weird. It's so sad. Um, anyway... <laughs> Uh huh. Why are you all red? <laughs> What's going on here? Sorry. I love I love the <laughs> the intensity of this of this uh this shot right here. <laughs> so like I could I could definitely picture that like perfectly in the anime. <laughs> That's gonna be. <laughs> Uh, Jean, it's the sunset. It's making everyone red. Oh. Well, nothing I can do about that. Even, even Jean's blushing a little bit, too. Um, oh, there's Mikasa and Aaron both blushing. Oh my god, man. Ah, Aaron cares about us. I, I, I wonder, I do wonder, like, when, you know, this chapter originally came out, like, was this like reassuring for people like okay maybe there's hope for Mikasa and Aaron or were people just done with with that ship you know you know by by this time already um because I don't know because obviously it's you know without question Aaron you know cares about Mikasa but I feel like since the season two finale of Mikasa's confession we haven't really made like a ton of progress or a ton of um lead way in terms of their you know like romantic relationship at least i don't remember if we have made any major steps towards towards anything like that um 
So, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like this is kind of like the the first in in a while, the first kind of like, like, Isi, Isi, I would go to like, I, I got you guys, right? <laughs> I got you guys. Uh, I haven't forgotten about, I have not forgotten about this. Um, but I don't know, it just, it just feels like, like, and this is what I love about Attack on Titan so much. Uh, it almost feels like there's more important things, you know, you know, that need to be talked about at the moment. You know, it almost feels like we don't have, you know, time <laughs> for, for, you know, um, a relationship or for like a, a love story or anything like that. Like, no, like we're, we're, we're focused on this right now. So, um, anyway, that could be why he got so combative with, uh, everyone aside from us. I think he did that because those feelings are so strong. You're saying he did it all for us? You're wrong. No matter how strong you were, the old Aaron would always try to keep you away from the front lines against the Titans. But this time he sent Armin to destroy the port and put you on the battlefield. It's, he He's raising ex excellent points, but it, it's almost like, like Aaron's like the king and he's sending like his two best chess pieces, you know, out to the front lines now to, um, you know... Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe that just kind of shows like the, the, um, kind of how not dire, but just like the scale of how important everything is currently that, you know, Aaron's just kind of like, like we need everyone, you know, for this or, or I, I don't know. Um, or maybe it's something else that's, that's, you know, pushing him to, to, you know, have his friends out there on the front lines where previously he wouldn't do that. Uh, same with everyone else. He said he was, he said it was important to him, me, Connie and Sasha. I, I think that's because he trusts us. Aaron wouldn't have been able to do anything if we hadn't gone, right? If we hadn't gone, Sasha would have had, uh, Sasha wouldn't have had to die either. Mikasa, what do you think Aaron did when Sasha died? Do you think he cried? Do you think he was angry? Connie, stop. That bastard laughed. I wonder what could have been so funny. What exactly about Sasha's death? Tell me, Mikasa. Why did Aaron laugh? You know everything about him, right? And this is like... This is so heartbreaking to see, right? Because like... Again, like I just said earlier, like... You know, this was like the original team, and it's just, it's just, it's over the years, it's so sad. Number one, to see that that original group dwindle in size, like, like I don't want to say like year after year after year, but like it's just sad to see it dwindle in size, like getting smaller and smaller and smaller, um, and and yeah, like having this this group here that's been through so much together, um everything that they've been through together and it's like we know how much Mikasa obviously cares about Eren but it's like here at the end or at least like in the last legs of Attack on Titan it's almost like she's by herself in terms of like defending Eren like she's she's completely alone on this and it's really sad to see right um yeah I don't know it's it that's the only way I feel like I can really describe it. It's just, it's just sad. It, it, it's depressing, man. Um, yeah. And it's like, I feel like, I feel like Mikasa knows that they're making good points, but Mikasa being Mikasa, being who she is, man, she's still trying to defend Eren, you know, uh, like till, till her last dying breath, basically. But she's still trying to defend him. And I, I just, I just really hope that like, I'm just terrified that it's gonna come to a point where even Mikasa goes goes uh, you know goes against Aaron or or something. I don't know. Um, we'll talk to Aaron. Just me, Mikasa, and him. We'll finagle our way into a discussion with him. And what's the discussion going to do? The one time in the past that Aaron used the Founder's power, Dina, a Titan with royal blood, was eaten by a swarm of Titans. That wasn't Dina's will. It was Aaron. Uh, what Aaron wanted. In other words, while Dina's Titan was the catalyst that activated the Founder's power, she wasn't the one capable of giving orders. Eren, who had the Founder, controlled those Titans. It ought to be the same between Eren and Zeke. 
um, in that case, whatever Zeke might be planning, it won't happen unless it, uh, it's what Aaron wants too. Aaron is the one who decides what happens. As long as he shares our goals, there's no problem. And what if he shares Zeke's goals? The corpse has the serum that could turn someone into a titan. That means we have a choice. Ar Armin is actually saying this? What? To, to, like, to, you know, uh, you, like, make someone else a titan, right? Um, but, like, to turn, to turn someone else into, into, uh, a titan, right? Basically to, like, get rid of, get Aaron out of the picture and give it to someone else. The fact that Armin is saying this, man, is, oh, God... Again, it's just sad. It's depressing, man. Um, okay. Uh, you don't mean the choice to turn someone else who we can trust into a titan and have them inherit Aaron's founder. No. But Aaron still has time left. I know. So we have to discover Aaron's true motives and prove to everyone that Aaron is on our side. Wow, like I'm I'm in disbelief, man. Like I'm in disbelief. Um and even even Connie, Connie who was so like like pressing, you know, the the issue of Aaron, right? He's the one who who essentially brought this this all up, right? Um or like really kick kick started this conversation. And even he is kind of like like I don't know, like just the look on his face. It's sad, and like once once again, like I bring up the the same the same thing I said earlier. Just like it's it really feels like Mikasa is left on an island here by herself. No pun intended, but like she she's alone on this, and it's man, dude, it's so disheartening to see. Um, really questions, man. Like, what is Aaron and Zeke up to? Uh, looks like we made it pretty far. We ran all night. Hey, take that armband off. People will see. So what? Regular citizens won't know what it means. Soldiers will, though. Just take it off already. No, soldiers are walking around uh, out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, well, if you leave it on, we'll get caught eventually. It's not like we have any idea of how to make it back to Marley. Of course we're, going, uh, we're not going back. I just want to find Zeke and ask him before I'm captured and killed. Why he betrayed us. Why he betrayed Marley. Why'd he do something like that? I don't care what you do. You don't have to follow me around. Is that so? Then I don't need your permission. <laughs> you just tore it right off her arm, man. Uh, I'll toss this thing out. <laughs> and Gabby's flipping out, man. Give it back. Why? What is this thing going to do for you here? I'm a good Eldian. Without that, I'm no different from these island devils. What are you talking about? Have you gone crazy? Then just leave me alone. Why did you even bother following me? There's no reason for you to die too. What are you doing? It's like, I, I hate the fact that we're, Sasha's been long dead, man. <laughs> and we're still getting, like, connections, you know, even though she's not here, there's still things happening that's, like, tied to her character happening. It's like, let me, <laughs> let me move on, man. <laughs> um, it's so early. Where did you guys come from? Uh, I, I don't want to say. We didn't like living at home when we finally managed to run away. She's she she's grabbing a stone. <laughs> what Gabby? What the fuck is wrong with Gabby, man? Uh you killed basically like her adopted sister. Now you're gonna kill her? <laughs> like so we can't go back now. Oh. You must be hungry then. You should come with me. My home's nearby. Alright, good job. Good on Falco, man. The actual rational one. Good lord. Like, her first instincts to kill. 
That's like, God. I know, I know she's like a trained soldier and everything, but good Lord. At least take the time to try to like learn, right? And it's it's kind of funny like how that mirrors with like um, the Eldians, right? Like um, at least our group, the Paradise Island, how like they want to go to other countries to teach people, you know, how, you know, the, the Eldians actually are, the so-called devils actually are. Um, and I feel like this is also a learning opportunity for Gabby and Falco to see like, let's see a normal, you know, a island devil family at work. Let's see what their day-to-day -day life is and... At the end of the day, they're going to see it's not so different from ours. So it's a good learning opportunity for them. Hopefully she doesn't pull any dumb shit, man. I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> I feel like she's going to do something stupid, man. Um, after investigating the remains of the Beast Titan, we did find parts of Zeke's exploded and fragmented body. But there's not enough. All we could find were limbs. He only pretended to die in order to deceive us. We believe that Zeke has allied with enemy forces on Paradis and escaped on their airship. Oh, and they got uh, the 3D maneuver gear there, too. Uh, if PX theory is correct, Zeke had been planning his raid on Marley for over four years. He was putting together a team of co-conspirators while inside the Marleyan military. This modified anti-personal vertical maneuvering, maneuvering equipment uses Marleyan technology. Uh, and the airship they stole for their escape required military training to pilot at that high a degree of proficiency. We must have snuck them onto the survey ship to Paradis four years ago. His comrades and the Eldian Restorationists. Gah. Uh, damn it. We fought together for so long to think he was a traitor. Of course, we're not going to let this end here. After the attack on Marley, the degenitaries the and newspaper, newspaper reporters from around the world went on to speak of the thread, uh, thread posed by Paradis. All major nations came together in the blink of an eye to form a massive military alliance. Just like Willie Tiber asked the world to do that day. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Um, well, this is terrifying. Now the only question is, when do they attack? Because if they already have a massive military force um, or, or alliance that's, that's building, um, what's stopping them from, you know, just, you know, as soon as they gathered everybody up, just going there right now, right? Um, yeah, this is pretty scary. Because, um, I mean, at least we haven't really seen, you know, aside aside from the volunteers, um, you know, we haven't really seen them, you know, make any allies with, you know, uh, you know, uh, sympathetic countries or, or nations so um this could be like an absolutely overwhelming force that's coming to paradise island um which i mean it could that's probably exciting <laughs> it's, it's definitely going to be exciting um anyway we're not just going to wait until zeke's term is up um, a global military alliance will conduct a scorched earth campaign against paradise within the next six months Six months? Is that how long we'll have to wait to rescue Falco and Gabby too? Wait for the allied forces to gather. If Marley attacks Paradis on its own, we're only going to be fought off the way we were before. That's that's interesting. It's It would really take six months for all the other nations to uh, converge in, in Marley? Hmm. Uh, Zeke must be thinking the same thing, that the Marleyan army won't move to attack immediately after taking such a massive blow. And he's not the kind of person who's just going to wait around until no plan, with no plan until he's crushed six months later. Uh, so you think Zeke is plotting something right now? Yes, he must have a plan in mind. And if we want to snuff that plan out, we can't wait for the Global Alliance to be ready. We need to launch a surprise attack on Paradis. Oh man. 
That's the end of the chapter, too. But, I mean, kudos kudos to Reiner, man. That's, that's exactly... Um, I, I feel like Zeke would have to have a, accounted for, for this, right? But kudos to, to Reiner for, like, being like, no, like, we need to, we need to be proactive in this. Like, we need to, we can't just sit up or sit around and, and wait and let them, you know, possibly build up a, a force, you know, themselves or, or something, you know. Um, like, let's catch them by surprise, you know. Let's, let's go after them, like, right now. Um, so kudos to Reiner for that. Um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this chapter, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Attack on Titan, and I will see you guys in the next chapter. Peace.